Read receipts are one of those things that people seem to love or absolutely hate. They're simply notifications back to someone that you've received and read their message. So I think there's two distinct camps here. The first loves the feature. It's great to let people know that you've read their message so they can potentially stop worrying. They know you're there. They know you've seen your message, what it is that they want to say to you. Now, that can be great for parents texting their kids to find out where they are and know that they're okay. If they're coming home for dinner, they need a ride or staying out a bit longer. If you get a read receipt, you can be pretty sure that they've got your message and have read your message. Now, that could be helpful when you don't want to keep the other person waiting in suspense, wondering if you've seen their message. Now, on the other hand, read receipts can cause problems when you're dealing with anxious, nervous, impatient, or even deranged people. I mean, have you ever sent a message to somebody and you can see that they've read your message, but then they don't send one back immediately and it upsets you? Yeah, well, if that's you, then read receipts aren't for you. You're probably not mature enough to handle them. You should probably get counselling instead. Now, I know my son used to use this feature. He loved to do it to mess with my head. So he'd always said he'd turned read receipts on just to let me know that he'd read my message and then he deliberately wouldn't respond just to wind me up. But hey, I'd get my own back when he wanted money. So good or bad, read receipts can be pretty useful if you're mature enough to handle them. Now, I know that sounds so silly, but really, it's true. Who knew such a small feature could send some people crazy? Now, there are a couple of points I should make out about read receipts before we see how to set them up on our iPhones. Now, firstly, and probably most importantly, is that you can only turn them on for the messages that you receive, not the ones you send. So you can't magically reach through the phone line and turn it on for the person you're sending a message to. Would be nice sometimes, but nope, that's not the way it works. You can only control your own reading of other people's messages that they've sent to you and then have your phone respond with a message that you read their message. Now, secondly, it only works on iMessage messages, not SMS text messages. So on an iPhone, you'd probably know that an iMessage message is shown in blue and SMSs are shown in green. These read receipts only work in those blue iMessage messages. Now, thirdly, they only work in one-to-one -one chats, not in a group message. But of course, with an alternative group app, like a group Facebook message, for example, you can see people that have seen the message if that sort of feature really bothers you. And finally, if you want to be selective with whom you send read receipts to or whom you don't send read receipts to, then you do need to have a contact created for them on your iPhone. So there's really four different options when dealing with read receipts. Option one is you turn them on globally for everyone and everyone who sends you a message will receive a read receipt when you open their message. That means everyone, no exceptions. Now, option two, you turn them off and no one who sends you a message will receive a read receipt. This feature's off completely for everyone that sends you messages. No one will ever know if you've read their message or not. It's simply off. Now, option three is you turn on read receipts and everyone who sends you a message will receive a read receipt, but then you turn them off for selected contacts. Then only those contacts that you've chosen to disable read receipts for won't get any notifications that you've read their messages. And option four, you turn them off and everybody who sends you a message will never receive a read receipt but then you just turn them on for selected contacts. So only those contacts that you choose are going to get a notification that you've read their messages. So option one is enabling read receipts for everyone. So on your iPhone, simply open up the settings app and go to messages. Now here, you can turn on the switch for sending read receipts. And that's it. Everyone now gets a read receipt when you read their iMessage messages. So here's what that would look like. So if I send a message to my wife who has decided to enable read receipts for my messages, when she reads it, 
I can now see that she's read that message. Now option two, we can disable read receipts for everyone. So on our iPhone, simply open up the settings app again, go to messages. Now here, you can turn off the switch for send read receipts. Now that's it, it's now off for everybody. With option three, we can enable read receipts for everybody, but then turn them off for specific people. So to turn off read receipts in messages for specific people, first we'll need to open up our messages app and then tap on a conversation with the person for which you want to disable read receipts. We'll then tap the person's profile icon at the top and then select the info icon. Then it's just a matter of turning off the switch for sending read receipts. Now finally, option four is to disable read receipts for everyone, but then turn them on for specific people in our contacts. So let's say you want to disable read receipts for everybody except for a few select people. We'll again open up our settings app and we'll choose messages. And first we need to make sure we've got the switch for send read receipts turned off. Now any iMessages are only going to show up as delivered and not read. So now we'll then open up our Messages app and we'll pick a conversation to enable read receipts for. Again, we'll tap the person's profile icon at the top and again, select the info icon. And finally, we'll turn on the switch to send read receipts. Now, when you receive an iMessage message and read it for this contact, they'll then receive that read receipt to indicate that you've read their message. So that's it. Read receipts for iMessages on your iPhone. Pretty easy to use this feature if it's something that appeals to you. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And that way we can see you back here for some more videos. Have a great day.